we will connect wirelessly our neocortex to the cloud. This is with nanobots that, exactly. that enter your, your neocortex. Right. This is and your prediction. For when, when is that? Just so I know. When, well, June 2033. Yeah. June, <laughs> June 12th, 835 <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> um, so we have 300 million modules in our neocortex, each of which can recognize a pattern. They're organized in this hierarchy. We create that hierarchy with our own thinking. But it's 300 million. So is that a big number or a little? Well, it was big enough for us to invent language and physics. And, but uh, it's also limited when you realize how long it takes to read a book or learn a language. We will be able to expand that. And that expansion will not be a one-shot deal. It will be connected to the cloud. The cloud is pure information technology. One of my themes is that information technology grows exponentially. It roughly doubles in power every year. That's what the cloud is doing. The cloud is twice as powerful every year. And when we can connect and expand our neocortex in the cloud, it will expand without limit. Uh, and so we'll be funnier and we'll be sexier and uh, it'll be harder for you to win this prize again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, so let, just to clarify what I think you just said, that in 20 years, plus or minus, so the mid-2030s, <clears throat> we will have nanobots that we can feed into our brain that directly connect to the cloud rather than through anything we carry in our pocket. And in that way, wirelessly, we can basically download entire books, entire languages, and we will then know these things just by the act of downloading them. Well, that's one implication. Into but, our brains. But we'll have more neocortex. So we won't be limited to a mere 300 million pattern modules. We'll have billions or 10 billion. But biologically or just simply because we have these nanobots? We'll have this extension that's non-biological. Non-biological, right. right. So, so I mean, this, this would be pretty useless if it didn't have an extension. I mean. It, it, you know, when you access all of Google... Yes, it would just be a gaming device otherwise, so, right. You know, you, you can access all of knowledge and... No, I got that. So, yeah. so isn't this like the scene in The Matrix where they, got, they sit in the chair and they upload... The, my, my favorite, one of my favorite lines of the film is Keanu Reeves. You know, they, they, they teach him martial arts. Uh, and he says, I know kung fu. <laughs> and you, you mean I'm going to know, you know, or, or jujitsu, whatever. So in... in, in 20 seconds, he's now an expert. Are you telling me that's what's going to happen? The non-biological portion of our thinking will be able to download skills, right? Wow. Uh, and it does that now. I mean, you load some software in your computer. It, it didn't, uh, I, for example, speech recognition, which I worked on. We had to spend months teaching a computer how to understand human speech. But now you want to do that on your uh, notebook computer. You just download the software. It can download skills that another computer learned. So that's, that's a feature of non-biological intelligence. 